Science, I'm Hyla, and today I'm gonna put the whole state of Ontario, Canada in my mouth. Will it fit? Let's find out. I've got a package here from Zach and Erica in Ontario. Is it Ontario or Ontario? Who knows? Um, they sent a shit ton of stuff here, and I'm super stoked. A lot of it is peanuts and chips, which are two of my favorite snacks. So let's get started, because there's no time to lose. All right, so let's start with a bunch of, uh, ooh, these are Picard's. These are all Picard's peanuts in various flavors. These are called Tongue Burner with the Boot Jolokia chili peppers, which is supposed to be the hottest pepper in the world. But then there was the Carolina Reaper and the Ghost Pepper, and who really knows now, but those three are all pretty much the top, the top hot spots. Should I eat more than one at a time? Ooh! They have, what? They're not just peanuts, they're coated in something and then fried, like those um, weird, uh, what are those ones called? They're called like Boston beans. There's like brown, brown peanuts with some kind of candy coating. It's like a candy coating, but it's not candy because it's hot. These are hot. They're not like crazy hot. Oh wait, maybe they are. Let's try it out. Where's your window? They make me want some beer, that's for sure. Um, okay, okay, now that now they're starting to get a little bit hot, I might get the hiccups. Might feel a hiccup coming on. Let's try dill pickle peanuts. They smell vinegary. These'll quell my burning mouth. Mmm, oh, those are good. It did make my mouth feel better. These are onion and garlic peanuts. We actually do snack on nuts a lot. Hey -o. All right, onion and garlic. Mmm, it's a little bit of like a sweet caramelized onion flavor. Oh, those are yummy. Oh, this is fun. It's like a wine tasting, but it's a peanut tasting. These all also say crispy potato chip peanuts, I guess because of the crispy shell. Those are really good. Christ, my eyes are getting old. Potato starch, rice flour, blah, blah, blah. What a cool idea. Um, chips, 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 ketchup chips. These are also Picard's. I think I got a box from Canada a while back and it was some Picard stuff too. I never had ketchup chips before I started doing this put it in my mouth thing. I like slightly sweet vinegar. It kind of tastes like ketchup, but mostly it just kind of tastes like sugar with some vinegar. I don't know, don't shoot the messenger. Okay, um, tart lime and chili pepper. That's a hilarious package, can you see that? Nope. I don't get any tart and I don't get any chili. I get lime zest, the way those real lime uh, packets smell. Those like powdered lime juice that you get on airplanes sometimes when you ask for a gin and soda with lime and they give you the packet. Anyway, I spend too much time drinking on airplanes apparently. Barbecue. Whoa. Those are a good barbecue. A little bit smoky. Okay, those are pretty good. Smoky bacon and cheddar. That sounds really good. taste any smoke. Picard's. You did really good on the peanuts. I think that the chips, you might need to figure out better names for the flavors. I don't taste any smokiness. I taste pork. I taste some meatiness. I don't really taste any cheddar either. Like the barbecue chips were smokier than the smoky bacon ones. So I don't know what's up with that. Wine gums. I've heard of these. These are a British thing, but I've never had them. Are they flavored with actual wine? Why are they called that? Wine? Are they called that? Whoa. Those are gummy. If anyone can answer me why wine gums are called wine gums, leave a comment below. Okay, up next is something with a monkey on it called Beaner Monkey Chocolate. Dark chocolate beans infused with chili. Sounds right up my alley. Oh, hell fire. Yeah, damn it. Mmm. So they look like coffee beans, but they're not. That's a nice, snappy, firm textured chocolate. Those are good. Not very hot. I think probably just cayenne pepper flavor. A little bit. Um, those are good though. I like those. Okay, what else? Big Turk. Turkish Delight? Made by Nestle? Do I not know what Turkish Delight is? It's possible. I don't know everything. Oh, it's a gummy with chocolate. I can't tell what the gummy's flavored with. What is the flavor? It's just like a general fruity flavor? I don't know. Thrills. It's gum 
but it says it still tastes like soap. Is it gonna taste like soap? Oh, is it lavender flavored gum? <gasps> or violet? No, oh, I think it's lavender. It doesn't really taste like soap, you guys. It's really good. It's like slightly minty and lavender gum. I love the package. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna swallow it though, because I still have more food to eat. Coffee crisp, that sounds good. Makes a nice light snack, trademark. <laughs> sure it does. Mmm. Remember those Sara Lee Nutty Bars that came two to a pack with all the wafers? With peanut butter in between and chocolate? It's like that, but made with like coffee cream instead of peanut butter. It's actually really good. Okay, um, Catherine Wheels. Licorice Catherine Wheels. I've never heard of a Catherine Wheel. I guess it's the name for this kind of rolled up candy. Oh, that's pretty cute. It's got a little uh, licorice all sort in the middle to make the center of the tire. Almost went down my throat and gagged me like I was eating a worm. That's good. If you like licorice, that's a pretty good one. Really cute way to display it. Ooh, that would be funny if you like stole someone's tires off their car and replaced them with four of these guys and they came out to go to work the next day and they're like, God damn it, who stole my tires again? Oh, candy? What's, what? The fudge, oh my God. Sherbert Fountain? I don't know, it just says twist to open. Is this gonna explode fountain all over me? What is happening? I don't know. Sherbert with licorice dipping stick. Is this what they call sherbet? I thought sherbet was ice cream. This is so bizarre. Am I supposed to eat this part? Let's stick with something more familiar. <laughs> Maple candies. All right, now I got in trouble once for talking about how Vermont is like the capital of the maple country and a bunch of Canadians were like, actually it's Canada. Not like that. But anyway, I didn't realize that, I guess. Like, I think Vermont produces the most maple syrup in the US, but Canada produce, produces more maple syrup than that. Anyway, maple candies in the shape like leaves. Mmm. It's creamy. It's a little bit um, crystally, but it just kind of dissolves in your mouth. And I think the only ingredient is just maple. I think it's just maple syrup that's been like cooked down to the hard stage. Hard stage, Jesus. Learn how to talk, Hyla. Ooh, yeah, it's like um, mint flavored, like honeycomb candy. When you look close, it looks like a cell structure or like somebody made a fossil out of tapioca. Hmm, all right, Aero Bar. Okay, so I'll put links to places where you can find these things if I can find them. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. 